you know, that town like Toronto, 50 years from now, could be like this. As the older generation, they said the kids don't want to live in this town anymore. Only two with occupants. Oh. I'm staying alone. You like life here? What more can I do? No, no place to run to. Kenapa, kenapa go peng? Go peng. Sini kerja. Pawa. Pawa. Are you scared? What's that? Scared of ghosts now? I don't smoke so. <laughs> That's a good thing. Right, we are on a little road trip here. We're going out into Parak. We're with our old pal Matthew. Yeah, we're heading out now into uh, into Parak. Um, Matthew's a, 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 a Parak local, Parakian. a Parakian. Yeah. yeah, we call it Parakian. <laughs> the Parakians. And uh, Julia's in the back, looking at herself in the mirror, just checking it out. Anyway, we're heading to a place now called, uh, or heading towards Gopeng. And we, we wanted to venture out because the thing is, is you don't get to see what Malaysia is truly, truly like until you step out of Kuala Lumpur, you know? So when you start to venture out, you start to see stuff, you start to meet people, you know? You know, we met Matthew down in Luma um, on our way to Pankor, and uh, we've been friends ever since. You know, the best people are not necessarily in Kuala Lumpur, they're actually outside of Kuala Lumpur and in the cities. Um, and states across Malaysia and that's what you know we, we really like to encourage people to do is go out to these states and meet people and uh, get out and um, taste and, and see and, and get a feel for what local life is really like out inside in Malaysia you know I, we always say that people get friendlier as you get further out and the food gets even better. I think Parak is one of our favourite states in Malaysia, if not our favourite state. Um, we've been to Taiping, we've been to Telekintan, City of Wan, Pankor, Kuala, um, Kuala Kangsar. It's the kind of state that we've kind of completed and now is the kind of adventure where we get to go out and go to some of the places where we, we don't really ever get to see or go to. The views of um, Parak are incredible. You've got these big limestone looking cliffs. I think it's a quarry. Is it a quarry, is it? Yeah. Wow. This is the first stop of our little Parak tour. Matt, have you ever been to Gopeng? No. Nope. You've never been? Yeah, just like you guys. Right, okay, so a, a Parakian has never been to Gopeng. This is the first time in Burbank. Not sure. Do you think it's quite reliable? Yeah, but I only do it like once in a few months, so I'm not sure. Guys, if you're enjoying the videos, give us a little subscribe. It helps us a lot. We can... All right, it looks like we're, we're getting into Gopeng here. Your destination will be on the left. Who are we going to meet in Gopeng? People of Gopeng, the yeah. spices. Oh yeah, that's it. It is here. It's open. It's open. It doesn't look like there's a lot of people there. <laughs> it look like the only people. We came out here for some lunch. Go okay, check it out. Let's have a look. See if they've still got some lunch. There's, yeah, it looks like some uh, vegetarian uh, rice. Uh, rice, yeah, rice. Thank yeah. um, Do you have vegetarian? Vegetarian. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is a food vegetarian. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mikasi, yeah. yes, is this? Yeah, yeah check up. Okay. Thank you. Roadside India. Mmm. Hello, bro. Very nice. Sada. Thank you. Very good food. Do you cook it? Did you cook? You cook this? No, no, no. No, you cook. Uh, another guy. Ah, uh, another guy. Uh, yeah. This your shop? It's a shop, another man. Ah, yeah, another man. Okay. You, you work here, huh? Okay. You work here. Do you get a lot of people come here? Lots of people yeah, or quite quiet? Yeah, it's a village, lah. many, many villages. Really? Yeah, very, very... Yeah. Kurang, kurang. Kurang, kurang. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, less people come yeah. here. Yeah. You live here or do you live in Ipoh? Uh, ah, that's Ipoh. You live in Ipoh? Yes, I say, okay, okay. Ah, okay. Kuala Lumpur. Ah, right, okay. Uh, Not far. Main town. Main town. Kuala Lumpur. Ah, Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, Kuala Lumpur, yeah? Yeah, Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah. Can I actually see the centre? Oh, so this, is the this isn't the centre, is it? Oh, wait, this is the centre. You're on the roadside. Well, uh, could be in Gopeng. Why not be in Gopeng? So that was a little uh, Indian place in the rural part of Gopeng. Not much here. Just the roadside. Let's get the motor going. It's still running, the old saga. You couldn't do any easier any other way, could you? You have to ride an old motor. That's how you ride in star out here. Right, back on the road we go. Oh, 
Uh, we are in Gopeng. Next to the Gopeng Square. Has anyone been to Gopeng before? This is supposed to be a vintage, vintage, vintage marketplace and a kind of bar at the same time. Julia threw it on the map. Have a look. Wow. You stepped into a kind of Chinese owned building in Malaysia. This is kind of what you might find back in the day. Free pack of cards with every Carlsberg. No, we have oh, three bottles. Three bottles. <laughs> Very nice. You can ask them if they're still. Anywhere you go in Malaysia, you'll always be bound to find a chendol, chendol place. They've always got chendol somewhere. And uh, Gopeng used to be famous for tin mining back in the day, but it collapsed in the 1980s. And uh, this is kind of what's left the sleepy rural city of or town of Gopeng. It used to be one of the largest in the world at one point, according to. Uh, according to a, a, a fact online. Madness. Now this is kind of what exists for sale signs and all looking a bit quiet in Gopeng. These are places that you can't get necessarily the train to or the bus to, you've got to drive out to and see it for yourself. Yeah, the top is the uh, Kadarunchi. It's a sundry shop. Right. Yeah. So it was a sundry shop yeah. back in the day, was it? Yeah. It doesn't look like it's been open for a long time, that yeah. one. <laughs> look, at the, look at the building at the top there. It's falling away, breaking apart. I wonder how long these things have been on sale for. You've got to wonder, haven't you? Are you from the... From Sarawak. From Sarawak? Kenapa go peng? Gopeng. Sini kerja. Ah, kerja. Ah, for work. He's here for work. Hidup di sini baik atau anda anda rindu Sarawak? No, belen belen. Karena okay, sini okay. Ah, it's okay ya. Kami kami dari England. Oh England. Yeah England. Yeah. England okay. Yeah. England British. British ya, British. Anda suka? Yeah, good man. What can you do for fun in Gopeng? Boleh buat sini. Buat apa sini? Gopeng peng. Itu rubber. Rubber ini mula-mula rubber. Rubber. Rubber type. Right. Do you know and suka cendol? You like cendol? No. I I don't know. You don't like cendol? No. I don't like. Right. So we uh so we walk. Lovely. Good to meet you. Yes. Thank you. But that man, he was he was living out here in Gopeng for work. He was from Sarawak, but um. Doesn't look like there's doesn't look like there's much work here. No. These old traditional heritage buildings here. This is something Malaysia is very very good with, and uh, it's always very very beautiful. Not a lot of tourists here in Gopeng. In fact, there's not a lot of people to be honest. It's Sunday afternoon, but there's very very sleepy here. Telekin Tan or not? I think it's be good. You've got a telephone box that was once a telephone box. No longer a telephone box where we live in an age of mobile phones. A temple here on my left as well. See this? These are the kind of towns that everyone should come and see because this is where you get the real heritage. This is Malaysia before Kuala Lumpur, you know, before that kind of big modern city that, that you know. Ah, the Kopi Tiam. The church looking like that. It's like a church that's a shop front. Oosh. You've never seen a church like this? No. Uh, yeah, You've yeah, seen churches like this? Yeah, yeah, it's quite popular, you know, like if they don't have the money to maybe build a, a very church like building, they just there are things that we share in common. Cows alongside the road in Parak. Oh look. Come on, oh, this is cool. Thinking what the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> There's nothing here. Yeah, I wouldn't copy up my own YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. Not somewhere you probably would like to start, but. Trona. Trona? Trona. 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 I'm here for a restaurant, but it's closed. It's called Kenyong. 
at these old heritage buildings here. Mental. This is the kind of stuff that's not on the maps, you see, on the tourist trail, but actually, how beautiful they are. I wonder if people still live in them. Do you think people still live in these, Matt? Up on these as well, maybe. This should be this good. Oh, yeah. This is it. Look at this place across the road here in Trono. It's completely overgrown. Look at that. Doesn't take long for the climate. Malaysia's got an incredible, incredible weather system, so it moves over quite quickly. Friendly locals. Didn't look that friendly at all, no? to be honest. Nah. <laughs> Can have a look. Might have vegetarian. Maybe they got vegetarian, I don't know. This is, this is red bean. Oh, this is red bean. This is kaya. Oh, this is kaya. Oh, okay, kaya is good, yeah. Should we get kaya? Yeah. Was it? Rubber, foundation. Yeah. And a lumber. Right. Timber. Yeah. Now things have changed. It's all changed. It's kind of different now. What do people do for work? Like, how do. What, what do people. Now mostly all the young ones gone overseas, gone on station. Really? Yeah, really. Now different. Now all different. Oh, wow. Old folks here, I know. Old folks, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want the elderly people. Yeah. 400 years. Over 100 years old, is it? 100 years. Tourists should come here, you know. It's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. There's a local movie way back 10 years ago. Yeah. Shooting here, you know. Really? Then renting this premise. Ice Cutter probably left the local movie. Ever since I was born here, 1953. 1953. Wow. wow. That is my grandfather, the center. So, you run this place since you were since no, you were no. young. I've been to KL. Okay. You've been to KL. Are yeah. oh, you lived in KL? Huh? Uh, for I think way back in 1970 something. I forgot the exact year. Right. Until 2007. Wow. Until 2007. Then you came back here. Yeah, correct. You like life here? What book can I do? No, no place to run to. A book as well. Oh. But in, is that in Chinese one? Mm. Oh, the past and present of Toronto. Amazing. What do people do for fun here? No, nothing. Nothing? Uh, yeah, internet. Internet? Uh, yeah, internet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's, what's the secret to staying young? How do you stay young? I, I don't know this one. You don't know? Uh, you must have been happy. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> so you're going to spend the Chinese New Year here? Penang. Penang. Penang, Penang. yes. Yes. Are you going to spend it here? You, you'll be yeah. here? Yeah, yeah. All the way here now. Yeah? Really? Very yeah. good. Is there going to be much to do here? What are you going to do? Food, eat? Yeah, internet. Yeah, internet. Teach up with friends. <laughs> Teach up with friends. Like, like old friends. Oh really? Oh, old friends. Yeah, that would be friend. good. Now we meet once at the primary school. No, the secondary school. Right. All the old school friends, classmates. We meet once a year. No. A gathering. A gathering, right? Yeah, once a nice. year. For the Chinese New Year kind of time, huh? No, no, no. I think oh. it's every December. Every December. Yeah. Lovely. My ah, true fact. Oh, your grandfather yeah, started this way shop. Way back in 1934. 1934. 1934. Wow. So this has been running since 1934. Started by your grandfather. My grandfather. And then yeah, you've taken over. Yeah, Hainan. Hainan. Oh, it's Hainan, right? Hainan. Right. The dialect group Hainan. Hainan, famous for chicken. Hainan <laughs> chicken. Yeah. <laughs> right. You also know. <laughs> See you soon, huh? Very nice Kaya, yeah, yeah, sit up, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Sit here, thank you. Right, amazing. So his father started that business um, in 1953 and he took over the business in 2007. I'm running out of battery now, so I have to be very, very clean with battery, but um, 
Yeah. What, what, what did he say? Abandoned houses? Or? Yeah. Welcome to Chernobyl. <laughs> Why does no one live in them? Why does no one live in them? This, this town has uh, started, founded in 1883. Wow. It's old, huh? Why don't, why don't people want to live here anymore? It started because of uh, tin mining. Tin mining, huh? And then uh, the industry was booming, booming. Yeah. And then after the Japanese World War, the demand fell down. Right. And then it lasted until the 80s. Right, the 80s. And then and it then just, everybody just collapsed. Was jobless. People left. People, yeah. people left. So there's no future. You, you, you're from here? You live here? Yeah. Yeah. We uh we spoke we spoke to the guy at Chum Chum Fat Chum Fat. Oh, Chum Fat. Chum Fat. Yeah, very nice guy. He says his father started the business in 1953. He says yeah. he moved back in 2007, but he says people don't want kids kids move out. You know. The younger generation they are all in Clangwari, Elsewhere. Really. What do you, what what do you think will, will happen to, to this? You think nobody knows. Really? Nobody knows. Unless the state government yeah. develop yeah. the area around here. Really? There is a university nearby. Yeah, yeah. UTP. It's the only thing there, is yeah. it? Yeah. Students, they will come for dinner. Ah, here, along here. Oh, that's good. I mean, it's keeps it busiest, but that's the only really uh, business thriving. <laughs> really, <laughs> you think it's getting quieter and quieter than this place, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. See yeah. Ten shop houses. Right. Only two with occupants. Oh. I'm staying alone. And there are three people staying here. Those those uh, houses with the trees growing. Yeah. Four in a row with yeah. a tree house uh, with the trees. Yeah. It used to belong to a tin miner. Oh, it used to belong to a tin miner, but it's long rich. gone. Uh, yeah, long gone. Long gone, long gone. And the younger generation after him, they are in Clang Valley. They are, they couldn't be bothered. Really. Nobody. People need to come here, you know. This is why we're here to come and see. That's what he's saying. He says no future now, really. Once the older generation, maybe. So this can... this is what's happening. Like people are moving out. Kids are moving out. You know, you spoke to the guy too, that, and he's saying that you know he moved back in 2007, but you know it's it's disappearing. I, I think, you know. I think most of the little towns in these areas are like that. Yeah. Like this. They're all older, old mining towns. You know. More or less, sooner or later, these these places will will cease to exist. You know, these places will be gone. We'll stop on our trip, Papan, just outside or just inside of Pusing. Just got to Papan and. Eerie silence. Listen. Mental. It used to be a timber outpost, predominantly built up by the uh, cycling and smoking. Not much else to do here in Papan. You know, looks like it's an old cafe here. You can hear the bats in there flying in behind me and uh, this used to be an old lumber town and now it became a mining town and then after the mining industry died then people ceased to to live here you know this is a real real ongoing issue with a lot of places in Parat. Parat used to be absolutely bustling with um, with a booming tin mining industry but you know as the tin mining industry collapsed so did a lot of these townships. So this is what Papan looks like and they've now got Papan Baru as well as people have moved out. But obviously it's probably a much smaller than it ever used to be. Now, 
you know, that town like Toronto that we were just in, you know, 50 years from now could be like this, you know, 100 years from now, will it be like Busan, you know? As the older generation, they said the kids don't want to live in this town anymore. Mm. <laughs> Shit. Big dog. Hey. So, uh, you know, there is there is still a few folk that still live here. So it's uh, not completely derelict, but um, yeah, you would have to notice the one before the, the old buildings, high risk of old buildings. Oh, they're gonna collapse. Yeah. Yeah, they might collapse anytime. It's all kind of rather sad, isn't it? You wonder whether uh, all the other villages in this area, Parak, like we went to earlier, are going to end up in a similar situation. You know, Toronto is definitely going to be facing some hardship unless it gets some uh, help from council, the government. Yeah. Just kind of rebuild these places and repopulate. You know, we're living in a digital age now where people can work online, you know. Will people move back to these places? Can <laughs> 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 Are you scared of this? What? What's that? Scared of ghosts oh, now? Ah. Who wanted that? Eh? Ah. You can walk through it. Right. Okay. Okay. But I see we just go here. There is. Okay. 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 Oh, he's saying like you can go in the mm -hmm. first. Here is okay. Here is still bright, but if you go into the center, it's too dark. Right. It, it looks very good in the middle of the. Really. The, the, the living room. It's quite good looking. Is it dangerous? Is there ghosts? Come on. That was Papan. Big, big adventure today. Nice to go see the Prakian towns. Let's just hope that, you know, people see these videos and people say, hey, we need to uh, reinvest a bit of money, a bit of tourism into these parts of, of Parak. What do you think will, will happen to, to this? You think? Nobody knows. Really? 